everyone and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm sharing with you all my recipe for a honey whole wheat hot spread you can also make this into a loaf or a plat bread whatever you would like so i want to say this recipe contains no white flour so you all are going to love this one so if you would like to see how to make this amazingly soft and delicious bread keep watching so i'm starting off in my bowl with my whole wheat flour I'm using King Arthur brand flour. Use any type of fine whole wheat flour you can find. In goes your yeast. In goes two teaspoons of vital wheat gluten. I got this on Amazon. You can get it in Publix or Walmart. Or if you cannot find it, you can omit it. I just like using it when I make bread, especially when I need a really nice soft bread. So mix that in. And then you're going to go in with enough water. I'm using two and a half cups to the two cups of flour. You want a really soft batter here. So I would say softer than a pancake batter or if not similar to a pancake batter. So give that a good mix and I'm going to add in some honey. The honey is going to help activate that yeast. You can also add some brown sugar here if you wanted to. Next, once you've mixed it in properly, you're going to cover it and allow it to double in size. Once it's doubled in size, this is what it should look like. Really nice and foamy. This is what's going to activate and help create that nice soft bread. Because as you guys know, whole wheat can be very drying and very, you know, different from white flour. So to this, we're going to go in with salt, melted butter, and I'm just giving this a quick mix. Next, I'm adding in some more honey. Give that a mix. Now, I'm going to be adding my whole wheat flour, the additional whole wheat flour, which is three cups of whole wheat flour in total. This is so soft, you need that three cups of flour. And this is going to give you a really nice soft sticky dough, so don't expect to get something that comes together and it's nice and firm and not sticky. So you're going to add your flour a little at a time and keep mixing. Once all of the flour is added in, you're going to now go in with your hands and start kneading this. And you're going to knead it and bring it to the center. Keep mixing, turning that bowl, bringing it to the center. If you need some additional dry flour, use the whole wheat flour. Do not use white flour. So go ahead and keep kneading that. It, as I said, it's a very sticky at this point. So I'm using that additional dry flour to help me, but you don't want to add too much of that dry flour. You want to continue kneading this. The more you need it, the better bread you're going to get. So you see how it's starting to pull together and it's looking like it's not all that sticky anymore. Now I'm using my fist to help punch down on the dough and you can see it's still a very soft, nice dough. I'm adding on a little bit of butter just to help me. And I'm going to continue kneading this with my knuckles. I find kneading it this way gives you a better result. It helps the flour to come in faster. So flip it over, continue to knead. And I would do this for about five to eight minutes. After which you'll want to start to bring it into a bowl. Once you'll see it starting to get nice and smooth, you want to bring it together into a bowl. Add a little bit of that soft butter over the top. That will prevent it from sticking to your plastic wrap when it's rising. So cover this with plastic wrap. And you guys always ask me what I use. It's Glad Press and Seal. And allow it to double in size. Once it has doubled in size, it took one hour. We're going to punch down on the dough. Get rid of all of that air that's inside of the dough. You can grease your hands if you like so it doesn't stick to your hands because it's still quite very sticky. 
and now what you have to do is go ahead and pick up small amounts and break it into small dough balls I like pinching it through my thumb and my index finger and just forming it at the bottom into a nice dough ball and place it on a creased surface I'm going to continue breaking out the rest and once I've done that I'm going to spritz it with a little bit of cooking spray so again it will not stick to the plastic wrap cover with your plastic wrap and allow it to double in size once it has doubled in size you're going to remove your plastic wrap and you're going to bake these bake them until they're golden or dark brown in color it should take about 30 minutes after which they come out of the oven and we're going to slather them with some more butter as i said remember guys whole wheat is very drying so you really want that additional butter so once you've buttered it allow it to cool down completely once it cools down it's going to be so soft just look at these buns or hops how soft they are I have to tell you that this recipe was so amazing go ahead and cut into it I want to show you guys the inside of this this bread is so soft I was blown away with it and I took the method of how I made my white bread and I made this bread and I think this was really good and I think I want to do a whole wheat sada roti for you all and I'm going to do it just like this how amazing does that look guys I hope you all enjoyed this recipe make it comment down below let me know what you think I'm so excited for you all to try it thank you so much for joining me again in the kitchen do remember to like share and subscribe I will see you all in my next video bye everyone